A Bharat in Uttar Pradesh had to face the music quite literally when the loud music and all the noise pollution due to their Naj Gana got to their four-legged guest who clearly shouldn't have been there in the first place. Now, before we move on, let me remind you to have this conversation on Instagram and on Facebook and on Twitter on these handles. Because, well, personally, I'm dead against using any kind of animals for any kind of personal entertainment and using ghodas and ghodis to ferry the dulhas is an age-old tradition that should have galloped out of our lives long back. The noise, the crowd and the crackers just gets to the poor animal who is made to stand and walk for hours as the Bharatis go bonkers, many times even firing bullets in the air using their desi ghoda without a care in the world for how it triggers immense stress and anxiety for the real ghoda. Now coming back to this shadi, where the ghodi took off without her dulha, well it took place in Maudaha town of Hamirpur district in Uttar Pradesh. It was a jam-packed shadi with Bharatis going berserk, well actually mostly Lukha Londas who were doing everything from Nagin dance to Dinchak trance on the beats of a popular Ghana from Raja Hindustani blaring through multiple loudspeakers. And the mahal was made all the more mazedar with one high-rated gabru doing paiso ki barish on the crazy crowd even as the DJ decided to crank it up a notch by increasing the already loud volume. So the aunties were watching from the first floor with their pallus firmly on their heads and while all the londas in the lane were jumping with joy, the ghodi decided that she had it enough. Uski sanak gai. Because there was so much halla gulla and shor sharaba of these gully boys that it lifted both its front legs and took off from this sausage fest, trampling over Bharatis left, right and center. And all of this action was caught on cam as the Bharatis continued to shake a leg totally bekabur of the Bekabu Ghodi who had started galloping through the ocean of Londas, giving them the lad they deserved. But amidst all of this, we couldn't help notice this Bevada Bharati who had started giving rapa rap and tapa tap to all the taporis who wouldn't let him get his hands on a putti kodi from the Notoki Barish in the Bharat. Of course, he missed most of his shots in the Bharat because clearly he had one too many shots in the bar. But the horse shot didn't miss her targets and some six people were injured and it also damaged some bikes when this goda do mota ke doda. The Zakmi Bharatis were admitted to a Sarkari hospital for minor injuries, no loss of life here. And about the Ghodi, well, we can only hope that it was okay and we are sure it never got any treatment for the ill treatment that it was meted out. Now, according to Gaowalas, it is an age-old Riti Rivaj in UP to make the Ghoda dance at the Shadi Bharat. So, its owner was trying to make his Ghodi shake a leg or two or four on a tacky 90s dun by Nadeem Shravan and bol halke halke by Samir which went like Uf kya raat aai hai, mohabbat rang laai hai, dum dum duba 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 dum duba duba And that's when the Ghodi got to puck out and budge out the shit out of everyone, putting an end to this sham Shadi ki besharam Bharat. While we hope that the police takes action against the owner of the ghodi for being a total ass, here's what the rule book says. The people for the ethical treatment of animals or PETA says that the horses are inserted spiked bits which literally are torture devices that can injure and traumatize the horses for life. Now the rules clearly prohibit the use of these spiked bits, yet PETA India claims that inspections have often found that these torture devices are embedded deep inside animals' mouths, ripping their lips and tongues and causing extreme pain, bloody wounds, immense psychological trauma and lifelong damage to them. So PETA India has been asking couples to have a heart for the horses and leave them out of their wedding plans. And well, if your wedding plans are being hampered by your hair problems, then here's a kick-ass product that can act as a dal against the issue of your receding bal. Yes, it's the It Really Works Vitamins for Hair. Now you must be wondering why do I keep talking about it in every video? Well, because things are changing at It Really Works Vitamins. The packaging is new, there's new and improved stuff in it and it's really going places. So I don't know whether this 40% off is going to be there for a while or it's going to be taken away and some new offer will come which may or may not be as great. So take advantage of it while it is there. You can use the link in the description to order your three month supply. In these three months, you will know whether it's working for you or not. Most of the people, including me, have found that it works. So try it if you like it. If not, then just ignore this information. Like how this Godi ignored all the people around her and just galloped away from this shit show. Of course, you can connect with me on Instagram and on Facebook and on Twitter. It's at the rate Ronak Kotech on Twitter and at the rate Review Ron on Facebook and on Instagram. A lot of you are already chatting with me, so please continue doing that. I enjoy chatting with you guys on a personal level. YouTube doesn't give you that option. So you can only like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you find the videos worth it. If not, let us know how we can improve. But as always, even if you don't do any of these things, 
डोंट यूज घोड़ीज एंड घोड़ास फॉर योर शादीज बट एट द सेम टाइम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वन प्लीज़ टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड दोज अराउंड यू जय हिंद